What do you guys think about Pinet now? <laughs> What is up everyone? In this video, we're gonna go over DPS build Benet. A lot of people have been waiting for this video and I'm glad that I can showcase DPS Benet. Let's take a look at the artifacts. You probably have seen this artifacts before. This is what is being used on my D-Luke. He's right now using Skyward Blade. I didn't think it was necessary for me to use Aquila Favonia, but I have this at level 80 and I believe this is the best weapon for him because he gets the energy charge really quick so that he can spam his Q as soon as he gets the energy. His cooldown is 12 seconds, so it should be good. But if I used Aquila Favonia, I would have gotten that 25% attack because it's refinement rank 2. But we're just gonna see how it goes with this one, okay? So he's got the good set of artifacts, he's got the weapon, and this is his talent. His auto, nothing much, right? His E, you can tell that there's a press and hold. And basically just think about it like this. If you just press, it just does one hit and there's a hold level one and level two. As you hold for a longer time, you do more hits. And this is his multiplier and this is not so bad at all. It's at level seven, which is what you would get as F2P. So I think I would like to leave this at level seven to see if he can still be a good DPS, even as a F2P. And this is his Q. I was leveling his Q because for those damage showcase, for those one shot, I recently was able to get this Q to level 10 and I can do it one more time. I'm tempted. Should I do this for Diluc or Bennett? Diluc is great, yes. But if I level Bennett, all the other characters can benefit from it, okay? So, you know what? I should do this. Now at level 11, all right. There's my talent and let's talk about Constellation. C1 is what makes him really great. It takes off the HP restriction and gains an additional 20% of Bennett's base attack. If you can afford another copy of Bennett from Paimon's Bargain, yes, go for it. Even without this, he's still great. Keep that in mind. C2, when Bennett's HP falls below 70%, his energy recharge is increased by 30%. Okay, that's good. We're gonna skip 3 and 5 because we know that it's a level up, right? So C4, when using a normal attack when executing the second attack of Passion Overloads, Charge Attack Level 1 allows an additional attack to be performed. Okay, it says this additional attack does 135% of the second attack's damage. Alright, so when he sparks once, then that's your level 1 charge. And then during that attack, you want to do a normal attack so that it executes additional attack. Like that. And let me tell you something. For those of you who spend money and have enough resource to get him to 6 constellation, stop at C5, okay? The C6, it converts all the sword, claymore, or polearm wielding characters to use pyro. Their autos become pyro and it becomes really annoying. It's good that you do fire damage when you're using Diluc, but this is what made me uh, not use Bennett when I was using Keqing Showcase. Because by having Bennett's Q, my Keqing's auto becomes fire, even though she used E twice. In my opinion, it was bad. So I don't know what you guys think. Leave your comment below to tell me whether if you had a good experience with C6 Bennett or not. Okay, thank you very much. All right, let's move on. This is the overall stat for Bennett. He has 1800 attack almost. This is his base attack, 702. Elemental Mastery, 149. Critical rate, 65%. Critical damage, 105%. And he has the Pyro damage bonus. All right, so uh, let me first explain about this team. Well, you know, Diona, right? I already explained about her in one of the showcases. C6 Diona gives 200 elemental mastery. So there's that. And two fire for elemental resonance. I didn't find anyone to help him do more damage. So there's that. And there's Sucrose for her talents for the 20% of elemental mastery transfer. And then her very decent sit. All right, here we are back at the Valen and he looks very sad. For some reason, why? It's because maybe I'm using him as a lab rat. Please forgive me. I'm sorry, Diwali. Okay. There we go. One more time. There's a swirl. Here we go. Something went wrong. <laughs> Something went wrong. <laughs> oh. Bad thing about this team is that there's no heavy DPS that takes down the shield of the Valin. He's like a cat! He scratches, he stomps. Here we 
Here we go. Okay. 70k. That was some decent DPS. I wouldn't say he's the best. But also, we have to talk about how he was not all set up for the DPS showcase. As F2P, you'd probably suffer from lack of damage. But at level 11, it would probably add 260% for his E. So that would be a lot more damage than I could have done. But 70k from his Q was okay. 400%, right? And the reason why Mona or like Child was able to do a lot of damage was because they had a huge skill percent damage for their Qs. So that was okay. And his weapon, he was using Skyward Blade. I think he would have done better if he had Aquila Favonia, of course, at level 80. But that was good enough. Why don't we go ahead and take him to level 90 development with food and see how it goes. They should change his name to Labrat Development. <laughs> if you kill him so many times, they should change the title. Alright, so we take food. This one and this one. We also need to heal him because Diona's Q, her constellation 6, gives you 200 elemental mastery if your character is at more than 50% HP. There we go. All right. 100k. I'm satisfied. But I don't consider Bennett as a burst DPS. His E cooldown gets decreased within his radius of Q. So I might want to take him to a different place. So why don't we find a new lab rat? All right. So we're here at Child Dungeon. And because we have food, why don't we go straight up to level 90 Child Dungeon? And then why don't we just try this out? Here we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. I need fire. Okay, there is a swirl. We need ice on you. Oh, no. All right. We good so far? We doing good so far? Okay. All right. I'm just using my skills. And then there is ice again. Wow. What do you guys think about Bennett now? <laughs> With high energy recharge, he can use like E's and then Q again. And that is massive damage. In radius too. So I didn't like how Deluxe Q travels forward and kind of ignores all those enemies behind you. But Bennett's Q, he does damage to everyone in the radius, right? So that was pretty shocking to me. Because first, he wasn't using the right weapon, but it wouldn't have affected his Q or E damage, right? I mean, if he had Akula Favonia, he would have had that extra attack percentage. But this kind of shows that he's really great. And I do think, I am fully convinced that if I use a non-burst DPS in Child Dungeon and if it works out great, then it'll be good. For those of you who had been telling me that Bennett is a good DPS, thank you very much. I really didn't trust you until now. <laughs> thank you very much for giving me opportunity to try out Bennett as a DPS. And if I get a chance, I will get him to level 90 so that his Q will transfer more attack to my characters for showcase. But also, I would like to use him as a DPS if I get bored. Yeah? Let me know what you think about this showcase in Child Dungeon. I think it's good using the violin and Child as a test subject to see if a character is a good DPS or not. Thank you for watching this long video and I'll see you guys later. Adios.